bake some potatoes today in the Instant Pot. If you want them in the oven, bake them 45 minutes to an hour at, th at uh, 400 degrees. Wash them, slice them down the middle, and bake them at 400 degrees for 45 minutes to an hour till they're tender. And then we're going to add broccoli, cheese, onions, and whatever else. Okay, see our two big, big potatoes there? We're going to use some aluminum foil on ours. You can do that too in the oven. We're going to use some cooking spray. Okay, we need to cut these down the middle. I don't know how these gonna turn out in Instant Pot. I've never done them in the Instant Pot. What I'm going to do is cook my broccoli in there with my potatoes. So I wrapped them up. There's one. And these are big, hefty taters. So it'd probably take about 20 minutes in instant pot. And it'd probably take a, between a 45 minutes to an hour to an hour and a half in the oven. It's your choice how you want to make them. But now if you make these baked potatoes in, in the oven, you're going to have to cook your broccoli on top of the stove 10 to 15 minutes, boiling it with butter and salt. Baked potatoes like this at Wendy's with broccoli and cheese and bacon bits and onions. Yep, it cost you about three dollars back then when I ordered them. Okay, we're gonna pour one cup of water in there. Got our bag of broccoli. Okay. Now you can wash these off. I think that's what I'll do too.
Range them around your potatoes. Okay, let's get some salt to put on a broccoli. Okay, we're going to cook this on uh, high pressure for uh, 20 minutes because them taters are awful, awful hefty, hefty, big and fat. And some of them taters like that is tough to cook. Pressure cook. In 20 minutes. We'll be back. We'll let you know if they're done or not, the taters. Look what I found at Walmart. I'm going to start putting this in my coffee. Sugar-free caramel. You have to go over where they got the ice ice cream products to find it. Sugar-free caramel. Sunday syrup. Smuckers. It's $3 a bottle, though. Because all diabetic products are high. You ought to know that. Okay, we'll be back in 20 minutes to see if the taters are done or not. Okay, let's get one out and see if it's done or not. Like I said, I've never done this before. They find me a fork where I can try to get one out. Okay, put our broccoli back. It's going to do it good, but now I don't know if it's done or not, though. No. That's going to be cooked longer. So we're going to wrap it back up and cook it another 10 minutes because these are so big. And we're going to get our broccoli out and uh, save our broccoli because I know our broccoli's done. Then we're going to cook these another 10 minutes in the Instant Pot. Because where they're so big, it's hard to judge how to uh, do them. Yeah. Okay, let me get something to get this broccoli out with. And we're going to test the other tighter. Now we're going to add butter to our broccoli. Put a, a paste of aluminum foil over it, keep it warm. 
while we do the other uh, potatoes. Okay, let me wrap this tater back up. Because we know it ain't done. And then we're going to test the other one. Okay, we're going to put that right back in there. Okay, let's get the other one out. Lord, this is a big and big one. And I def definitely know it probably ain't done. See, when you do something in the instant pot, it's a judgment how you cook it. See, it's hard as a rock. Now, if you do them, you know, cut them up, it only takes eight minutes in the instant pot. But if you do it like this right here, no. It's just a judgment. So we're going to try that another 10 minutes. I'm going to get me some broccoli out of the refrigerator. I mean, some butter out of the refrigerator. And add it to our Instant Pot. I mean, not our Instant Pot, our broccoli. Have you ever went to Wendy's and got you one of them uh, baked potatoes with uh, broccoli and cheese? Let me know in the comments down below. Have you ever? I just thought about it. We might just put it back in there for 20 minutes. Because like I said, this is a judgment when you're using the Instant Pot. You don't know. Depends on what size your food is, how it's cut up, and all if it'll be done the time you say it is. I've noticed that. So this is a new experiment for me on baked potatoes so I'm going to try it another 20 minutes so all together it'll be 40 minutes for them so big but now it'd be better if you was to do it in the oven but I'm not doing it in the oven it's too hot in this house when I use that oven so I'm trying to do without the oven so you do you and I'll do me 
I'll just give you an idea about what to cook or make a side or something. This is just inspiration. I mean, inspiration, not no uh, tutorial. I don't know if it'll be done in 20 minutes. So, like I said, I've never done this before, so I'm trying it. And people with, with uh, I heard people talking at Walmart. Some woman said she wanted an Instant Pot. Well, some other woman told her, said, well, them's dangerous. I wouldn't get one of them. Uh, if you watch what you do, they're not dangerous. You've got to make sure it's on ceiling. And then if you're afraid of it, then just let it go off by itself. But if you're an expert at using the Instant Pot, you could take something, put over top of this, and then take something and knock that to venting, and it'll come open. I mean, it'll let all the steam out, and then it'll come open, your door will. I don't think it'll let you, unless you, uh, unless that little silver piece back there is down, I don't think it will let you open this up at all. But you never want to open this up if this little silver piece is right here. Never. So always make sure it's on ceiling when you're cooking. And then if you want to let the uh, steam out, make sure it's on venting. And then step away. Let it do all this venting. And then... Open it up once that little silver piece is down inside. You can take this lid and wash it and the ring inside of it and wash it. Then you can take the uh, thing, uh, the pot it sets in, take it out and wash it and put it back down in there and you're set for the next time. Okay, let's let this cook again. Y'all let me know in the comments down below. Do you all use margarine now? Since margarine's cheaper than butter. Or do you use uh, butter even though it's high priced? Let me know. I hope these are done this time. Okay, let's try this. Because them are awful big taters. I mean big ones. So even in the oven, you will have a hard time of cooking. I say take a good hour and a half in the oven to cook them. Whoa. Oh, okay, let's test it this time. Let's get this now. No, this one ain't done. of wrapping them up and moving forward is a fail. This is done. But this part I I'm going to stick this part in the microwave for three minutes.
Okay, let's try this other one. It should be done because it ain't that big as that other one was. Be careful when you do these because they do got hot water in them. Okay, let's try this one. This one should be done. It ain't giant as that other one. Oh, yeah, it's done. Okay, let's get this one started. Okay, let me get a bowl to put it in. Okay. Here's the first half. Here's the second half. This is done. This one is. Yes, it is. Okay, let me look. show you what the taters look like. Don't they look good? Okay, let me get a little bit of butter. Okay, get our broccoli. Let me get some cheese put down first. Let me get some cheese. Okay. We got our cheese. We got taco cheese. Now they serve theirs with uh, melted Velveeta cheese. But I ain't got that. Okay, let's put our broccoli. Now, this is going to be a full meal because uh, you ain't going to want nothing after you eat all this because it's going to be a big full meal. If you can eat more than this, more power to you. Okay, let's put some pepper. Okay, some parsley. Some minced onions. I cut them up and cut them up real, real small. Like you would if you put them on a hot dog. Okay, let me get my salt. Well, what happened to the salt? Oh, I see it. Okay, put a little bit of salt. Put it up way high, that way it gets all over it, and you don't have to have a whole bunch of it. Okay. A few bacon bits. Now these are big, so I mean they are big pieces. But you can use real bacon bits of this if you want to. I've not got none right now. And then let me get the sour cream out.
I can't eat a baked potato without sour cream. This ain't for a diabetic, I can tell you. That big tater, oh my God. That'd probably run your sugar up. But I'm going to eat it anyway. I ain't had one in a long time, and I'm going to eat it. So, you just have to run it up. Okay, and then you add more cheese. Let me bring you a close-up. Loaded baked potato with broccoli and cheese. To help this melt a little bit, I'm going to try to get some of the hot uh, hot uh, water that come out of the instant pot with the broccoli. It's got pieces of broccoli in it, see? Yeah. That should help melt the, the butter and some of the cheese. This is Ronnie's. Okay, let's get mine done. Did get done after three minutes in the microwave. This big one did. Okay, I'm gonna put some butter on mine. Okay, now we're going to add some cheese. Now this is going to be a full meal now. You can't, I say you won't be able to eat nothing else after you eat these because they're so big. But if yours ain't that big, you can fix you something else to go with them. But I had these giant potatoes and I wasn't about to let them go waste. Cameron's at school. That's why you don't see three baked potatoes. Okay, let's put some parsley. Chives. Uh, 
Okay, black pepper. Okay. Now a little bit of sour cream. You can get this sour cream at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. That recipe I done last night, the sweet and tangy chicken, oh my god, that was good. Uh, I added pineapples to mine, and they was even better. The recipe didn't call for the pineapples, but I put it in it anyway. Salt. Taters love salt. Okay. This is what mine's looking like. Okay, I'm going to add me a few bacon bits. Wherever I set them at. Okay, let me test this for you, and then I'm going to shut the video off and go eat. I got a bite of everything. Mmm, good. Here's Ronnie. Mmm, that's good. That's real good. Awesome. Like I said, this will be a meal for you. Here's what mine looks like. Thanks for watching. This is Tanya's Home Cooking on YouTube. Like, subscribe if you ain't already. Share with your friends and family the recipe. And thanks for watching. Bye.